Eugene Neshtetic and five of his co-workers shuttered their company developing medical and biotech startups to join the Defense Forces days after Russia invaded Ukraine. But within two months, their commanders agreed it would be more useful if they gave up their military careers and used their expertise on technical projects to help the war. With the government's blessing, Neshtetic and his team of engineers moved to neighboring Poland where they raised initial funding from a Polish company, Air Residential Aviation, to develop a new drone for the Ukrainian military. The Defender drone, now in the final stage of testing, is designed to withstand strong winds to enable surveillance in bad weather, can fly, take off and land vertically and also carry relatively big payloads. Neshtetic's startup Radio Bird will be ready for industrial production within a month. The initial plan is to produce up to 200 units which will be delivered to the Ukrainian army and used on the battlefield. It combines electronic uh, warfare resistance, wind resistance and all, uh, obviously it's dedicated to signal intelligence and uh, uh, because of its uh, flying capabilities uh, the a radio horizon, the uh, maximum range of signal intelligence is uh, about 250 kilometers. So uh, actually right now you don't have any one, any single drone with uh, this combination of capabilities in uh, uh, the weight uh, under uh, 25 kilos. Uh, we needed uh, some air surveillance, so I took my uh, m uh, home, home Mavic and uh, uh, did work like everybody did. Uh, uh, but uh, then, after the Kiev defense campaign, we uh, relocated here and uh, having uh, the entrepreneurial and technological background, we were uh, asked to, to support uh, Ukrainian armed forces with logistics, with technologies, laboratory uh, uh, assets, and so on and so forth. And, uh, uh, step by step, we, we deployed uh, seven projects and the Defender was the eighth one. Okay, then some map. Yeah, I will show you in a sec. Our model uh, could show that we could detect uh, the enemy's uh, uh, targets. Uh, very precisely, for example, from uh, uh, six kilometers, uh, uh, with six kilometers of, of distance, we can detect the uh, enemy unit, uh, which emitter uh, emitting uh, in white band, uh, with uh, accuracy up to uh, 20 meters. It is very, very uh, important because uh, the main problem in the field right now, the battlefield right now, uh, that our drones, our units cannot operate really uh, under uh, electronic warfare uh, influence. Our uh, partners are already uh, the local one. Uh, so we have, uh, for instance, ARS Aviation. It's a Polish, uh, Polish uh, based uh, Polish uh, uh, com aviation company. So we are quite integrated here and also we are collaborating with different uh, teams all over the Europe, United States and also uh, from Turkey. Ląd do pionu delikatny. Dobra, minut. Come on.